Hello everyone, I'm Paul Smith and I'm here at Centerline Memorial Park for the Centerline Halloween Fest presented by Crypt Keepers Halloween Emporium. And today there's going to be a trunk or treat, there's going to be haunted houses and much, much more. So we're getting ready to have some fun right here at the Centerline Halloween Fest. And I am now here with Dave Douglas, the owner of Crypt Keepers Halloween Emporium. And Dave, um, talk about this event here today. How did this all happen? Uh, well, we started a few years ago with the fire department and police. We put on a haunt over at the fire station, and then we did the trunk or treat at our store. And then last year with the pandemic, we were not able to do the haunt. We just did the trunk or treat. So then we decided to go a little bit bigger, and we teamed up with the city and the mayor. And as you can see here, we got a pretty good turnout going right now. Uh, we got the haunted house and the movie for the kids and free pumpkins and donuts and probably 60, 70 cars out there. Yeah, so talk about what it takes to get something like this, you know, from the organized side. Like, how, how has this all kind of come to be? Uh, a lot of hours of uh, planning and meeting and just, you know, getting it right. Like, uh, me and my brother actually built the haunt uh, during the week uh, while while everyone else was kind of away, so it made it easier. And then we had a big group of volunteers come in the last couple of days to decorate and, and, you know, like paint all the walls. And we got makeup artists inside doing up all the cool zombies and stuff that you'll see. And then uh, me and Sean from Parks and Rec, we kind of organized all of this over here. And then just tons of wonderful people helping out to make this event happen. Well, that's awesome. Like you said, I can see right now all these trunk or treats, you know, getting ready to go. And I, I can't wait to explore the rest of, you know, the park here today. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for coming out. And uh, hopefully everybody has a good time and next should be a little bigger and better. You know, Dave, I can see, you know, a line of cars. Everyone's here. There's a line of people ready, ready for this trunk or treat. What are you hoping for that you could do next year to improve upon this event? Uh, you know, we're just trying to get it bigger and better every year, you know, involve more of the community and just make sure everybody has a good time. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. And now I am here with Jamie, who is an EMT who works for the city, and we are currently at the trunk or treat portion. And look at your setup back here. This is pretty cool. Where'd you come up with this idea? Uh, you know what? I kind of had another medic help me, and we just brainstormed real quick. I actually I googled the skeleton idea, so I can't fully take credit for that. But all the leads—that's all stuff we do on our normal patients anyway. So I mean, minus the brain. <laughs> we don't let our patients hold their brains, but you know. <laughs> so talk about this event here today. Uh, my understanding this is your first time being here? Yep, this is our first time coming out today. Um, it's busy. It's a lot of kids. It's great to see all the kids out though. It, it's cute. They're all dressed so cute and they're all so sweet. It's awesome. It's been fun. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. I hope you know you enjoy the last little bit of the trunk or treats and uh, thanks for being here with me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. We've been doing this for a couple years um, and a lot of people come every year. It's fun seeing all the kids in their costumes and this is the first year that they've done a haunted house which I heard was pretty scary. She went through it, not me. But I think it's pretty cool. It's a fun event. Yeah, so talk about the uh, haunted house. You went through it. Did you like it? Uh, somewhat. I don't like chainsaws. <laughs> I'm terrified of chainsaws. They do jump at you but it's only the chainsaws. So uh, what's your favorite part of this event today here so far? I like seeing all the kids. I'm a kid person. All their, their costumes are so cute, and I like seeing everybody together. Well, as you can see here, it was a great turnout here at the Centerline Halloween Fest, from the trunk or treat to the haunted houses and just everyone being here. If you couldn't make it this year, make sure you head out next year to the Centerline Halloween Fest. And I'm Paul Smith with Crypt Keepers TV.